All right, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Science Vision Art Life. My name is Adiwala Kuke Jr. Please review us, rate us, give us a five star. Don't be a hater. Today, I'm gonna talk about Blade. Uh, this episode, I'm affectionately calling it Hunter's Moon. I mean, I always wanted to focus on just Blade himself as the awesome hero that he is. Um, you know, being the foundation of this whole gigantic thing that Marvel Universe has become. But before we get into this podcast, I want to thank our sponsors. This Science Vision Podcast is brought to you by A4 Capital Consulting. Growing good business anywhere and everywhere at A4 Capital Consulting. Take your business to the next level. That's A4 Capital Consulting.com for details, y'all. That's A4 Capital Consulting.com for details. And let's keep saying it. Podcast coming out soon. It's going to help you grow your business. A4 Capital Consulting is going to show you, tell you exactly marketing strategies, um, just how to grow your business, take it to the next level. So get ready for that. And also, this podcast is brought to you by Anadale for the ankle. Don't live with foot pain. Let Anadale for the ankle make your feet happy again. That's AnnadaleCenter.com for details, y'all. That's AnnadaleCenter.com for details, y'all. Like I keep saying, you know, custom orthotics, man. I can't wear the generic brand. Used to have foot pain. I got these awesome Anadale custom orthotics. They go in every pair of bottoms that I wear. I will not wear anything else because I don't want my feet attached to generic uh, foot care stuff. AnnadaleCenter.com, man. They, they got the best of the best equipment to get your feet where it needs to be so no more pain walk around pain free but guess what even better get some of these awesome custom thoughts so y'all anadelcenter.com y'all so y'all as i stated before i'm so excited about this episode man i want to talk about blade and there's cat things i'm going to talk about his powers it's being the hunter the history the movies and the animation i mean blade is just one six sick character um you, when I, you know when i first going to comic expos right this was the first blade i ever drew and I was like, uh, it's all right. And then I drew this one. I was like, dang. And now you, now you see the difference between the two. You can see the skills just got r ridiculous. You see what I'm saying? And I said to myself, man, Blade is the sickest character. And then it made me start watching movies. And then my, all the cool animation. He's even on my banner right there, as you can see. I'm pointing to him right there. That's Blade right there on my banner. I make sure nobody misses him. Blade is so sick. Um, Talking about... His powers. First of all, he's he's half human, half vampire. So basically, he's got all the powers of the vampires, but he doesn't have any other weaknesses. But he's also got the weakness of the human too. He get he ages. He gets sick to a certain degree. But I remember when the first movie came out in 1998. Oh my god, I was like, this movie is sick. When it came out in 1998, and Wesley Snipes was playing Blade, and he's so sick as Blade. God, he just I could not believe what I was watching. Automatically, man, Wolverine was my number one hero. And as soon as I seen that, Wolverine was my first, was my favorite superhero. And the minute I saw that Blade movie, the first one, I said, oh, hell no. Shoot. Blade going right to number one. It wasn't even no, he been number one ever since. I, outside of the Cardiff of Assassin universe, my own characters that I created, Blade is number one. Yeah, I love Blade that much. I haven't got my t-shirt. I got the beanies. I don't play. You know what I'm saying? It's Blade all day. This dude is, Blade is the greatest superhero Marvel for me. He's the best Marvel superhero ever. You know what I mean? But his powers include, I want to call his fighting skills part of his power uh, powers. Um, he regenerates just like a, a regular vampire. Um, he can leap like buildings. He's got super human, super, super, super human strength. So he can lift way more than the average human being. Um, fighting skills. He was trained in Japan. So he's a master swordsman. I mean, Blade is just, God, he's so sick. And then there's a mention array of gadgets built for him by Whistler. All these shurikens. All these different types of artillery, different types of um, weaponry he's got, lasers, Gatling guns. I mean, this dude's got all kinds of weapons, man. Then he's got the cool car, the charger. I mean, dude, Blade is just, oh my God. He's just so sick, man. You know what I'm saying? And then taking his powers and then turning that into being a hunter, right? Because he becomes a hunter because he has this need for vengeance. But it's overtaking vengeance and it's more like to protect the city, right? Against all these vampires, whether it's um, Deacon Frost. Or um, Blade 2. I'm trying to think the guy, the character's name evades me. And of course in Blade 3, Dracula. I mean, he has so many villains. And I think what was the first time I saw Blade, aside from the movies, was in the Spider-Man animated series. I think it was season 5, man. I was like, what the hell? Blade's on a motorcycle? This dude is pretty sick. I mean, he hunts vampires. He, he asks them. Even the TV show with Sticky Fingers. God, that show was fire too. Man, that show was sick. Um... I mean, I mean, it was just, Blade is such a sick-ass hunter. By far, in any superhero genre, he might be the, he, you know what? It's not he might be, he is the greatest hunter. You know what I mean? The only guy that's anything remotely like him is Batman, because Batman's a detective. 
which in a way kind of is a hunter, but Blade, God, Blade is such a sick ass hunter. He is so, so, so sick. You know what I mean? There's no vampire that can escape his wrath. Whether it was the episodes, the seasons from um, Sticky Fingers on Blade, uh, the, the TV series, or even the animated series, or the three movies, the first two were spectacular. The third one, I could still watch it, even though I thought it wasn't as good as the first two. But Blade, without Blade, Marvel ain't got jack squat, man. You know what I mean? And then next upon this thing, the history of Blade. Very few of y'all know the history of Blade. And I, I'm not going to try to stretch it out too far, but basically, Blade got his powers from Deacon Frost. Because his mother got bit by Deacon Frost, as you saw in the first movie, right? And if you watch the animated series too, in 2012, um, 12 episodes, I think it was 12 episodes, one season in 2012, you saw the same thing too. His mother's walking in the streets of London. He's actually born in London. That's the funny thing. I've, I've always found that interesting that Blade is from England. His real name is Eric Brooks. Eric Brooks is his real name, right? But in, he's born in London, but then he somehow makes his way back to Detroit. I guess maybe with this reboot of the new Blade movie coming out with Masha Ali, maybe they finally going to take this thing back to London because I would love to see Blade on the streets of London. You know how sick that would be going against vampires? You know what I mean? And it's, he was born in England. A lot of people don't know that. More, very, few, very few followers of Blade know Blade is actually from England, which would be even more sick to see him be from England. But he's from England. His mother's in England. She, she, gets, uh, she gets bitten by a vampire. Um, and then her... Through the blood transition of the bite from the vampire, whatever, it goes into big blade as a, inside his mother's womb, and he comes out half human, half vampire, man. And he's got all the fighting skills. He's got all the uh, abilities. He, he has no uh, the sun doesn't affect him. Um, he regenerates just like a vampire. He heals. He still ages like a human, though, just like they said in the first movie. Even in the animated series, you can see it too. I mean, God, Blade was so, 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 so sick. The history of it. Very people, like I said, know the history of Blade, which is tripping me out. Most don't even know. Everybody thinks he's from Detroit. He's not from Detroit. He's from England. Most people don't know that. He's from Blade is a character based, created in, based in England. He, I, like I said, I would love to see them actually do a deal where he's showing him working in the streets of London, in Peckham, in Liverpool, Manchester. You know what I'm saying? Just defending Piccadilly. Piccadilly Circus. Yeah, that's right, y'all. I used to live in England. Just, I'm, I'm able to tell you that. Maybe while it's kicking some butt, maybe we can stop by a fish and chip shop and get some fish and chips. You know what I mean? So, you know, but Blade history. Next of all, outside, outside of the history, the movies. Blade 1, Blade 2, Blade 3. It don't matter what you think of Blade 3. Without Blade, without the first one, there would be no Marvel Universe right now. There'd be no X-Men, no Avengers, no Iron Man, no Captain America movie, no Captain Marvel movie. No, uh, sh sh uh, no, um, shoot, just Black Panther movies. There would be none of that, man, because Blade is the, is, is the, it started it. Yes, the first Marvel movie ever made was The Punisher, but The Punisher ain't got Jack Squad on Blade. Blade is really where it kicked off. Like, if you combine all three Blade movies, it, 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 it grossed about 415 million, which in today's equivalent is about 1.5 billion. It is insane. I remember watching this, um, History of Marvel Foundation, and, it's ironic enough, somebody made a show about it, me talking about how I feel like Blade was always the foundation of Marvel. And somebody actually said, he said, if you're going to build a foundation of Marvel the, on the, the ground level, you got to have Blade. Because without, and then, real talk, there should be a 90 foot statue of Blade. Where's his snipes, whether cover one of Blade 1 or cover 2 of Blade 3 of 2, in front of Marvel Studios, paying homage to this character. Because, yo, this dude, Blade, is just all that and three bags of chips, man. All three movies are, sp Blade 1, Blade 2, Spitfire. I can't even say. Of course, Blade 1 is always going to be my favorite because it's just how the movie, the whole thing jumped off. But Blade 1 was sick with it. Blade 2 was even sicker. And then Blade 3 was like, it was good. It wasn't as good as the first two. It could have been better. Um, I feel like maybe they rushed it, but it's still Blade, man. I still watch all three. I still love all three. I got the first two Blades on DVD. I had to do it, man. Collection, baby. You know, Blade was in my collection. Shoot. I got the t-shirt. I mean, dude, I even got Blade on my pants. You know what I mean? The only thing missing here is a Blade bomber jacket right now. I got the Contract of Assassin one, you know what I'm saying? I got to let y'all know, but Blade, man. You know I mean? Let, let y'all see him. Blade right there. I love me some Blade. Um, and I'm so looking forward to this new movie with Masha Ali. There is so much pressure on that, brother. Man, this movie cannot be bad. This new movie cannot be bad at all because people will roast him if it is bad. Blade, the new movie coming out, it's been 20 years. Can y'all believe the last time Blade came out, a movie was in 2005? And we're in 2023? That's almost 18 years. That's ridiculous. With all these movies that Marvel is making, why would you not reboot Blade? 
it's it's insane that Blade hasn't been done yet, but you know, hopefully they can fix that hot mess. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the movies of Blade. Unfortunately, I don't have my DVDs like I normally have. Because I would have had the whole collection, man. But yo, Blade, all three movies, sick with it. First one, Blade, Wesley Snipes going against um um uh, Deacon Frost. And of course, he got Whistler with him. Then the second one, and he's getting help from Karen Jensen. Then the second one, he's going against the, the stalkers. Blade, and he teams up with him, but they're actually hunting him. Then he, then he goes against, uh, oh my God, I'm trying to remember the character. But he has to stop like these things that keep vampirizing the whole city and turning all these... Humans is, and they're even more in Blade 2. The vampires from that one are way more infectious than your normal vampire. They're only they're not only killing vampires, but they're killing humans too. And then Blade's gotta get to work on these fools, man. And I love the last scene of Blade 2 where he's in that little um ring thing and the dude thought he was gonna get away. And Blade and Wesley Snipes character Blade says to him, Oh, you didn't think I forgot about you, did you? And then just puts that sword through his forehead. I was like, Oh, that's so sick how it ends. You know what I mean? And like I said, England. That that whole thing set me up like, yo, hold up, he's in England? Why isn't this why isn't this movie made in England? Blade would be so sick in England. There's something for Marvel to think about, man. Yeah, y'all can borrow my idea. You know what I mean? And then next up, last but not least, the animated series. Um, yeah, the animation. Blade animated series was one season, 2012. Um, I loved it because one of all, first of all, it was Japanese style. So y'all know how I feel about the Japanese style. In fact, I'm gonna show y'all the intro. I'm gonna let y'all see the intro. Let me see if I can let y'all see the intro. Cause this thing was sick with it, man. It, oh god, it was fire. Here we go. This is if I can play it for y'all. I'm gonna let y'all see it. Just let y'all see a little. Hold up. Yep, I'm gonna play it for y'all. Y'all gotta see this. A lot of y'all have never seen this, but if you if you don't have it, you can buy it on Apple or you got or you can get it on YouTube. But I don't know if it's available on YouTube because it's Marvel. So you know Marvel don't play that. You know what I mean? But let's play y'all this blade anime intro. Yeah, y'all. It, it was. Discover unforgettable travel experience. Okay, there goes the commercial. But yo, Blade, the animated series. If you've never seen it, please, please, please go watch it. Yeah, you might have to come out the pocket. I, you know me, I'm a Blade fan. I went and straight down bought the whole thing on my phone, and so I could watch it whenever I want, whether on my computer, whether on my iPhone or my iPad, man. You know what I mean? Blade, the animated series, it was sick with it. it was Japanese style. It takes you all over. Gives you Blade's history. It takes you all over Asia. Mo the anime series is really based in Asia. And then you also get to see some of the super moves like um, Deadly Sword Technique number one. Phantom Moon. Oh my god, it's so sick. And then, of course, you see him getting his training in Japan. Becoming a master swordsman. That's how you see Wesley Snipes able to do all that crazy stuff. Of course, Wesley Snipes in real life. Which is why Wesley Snipes was perfect for Blade. He's a master swordsman. He's a master of karate, taekwondo, jujitsu. God knows how many master degrees bat, master belts that Wesley Snipes had but I mean god that movie Blade it inspired me so much and when I was watching creating my card for Assassin's Universe Blade I mean the Blade movies just made me just be like okay I can push it to another level you know what I mean so Blade today's episode was about Blade I, I don't know why it's taking me this long to get around to talk about this character he's too sick of a character you know what I mean but he never gets his just due and it, he's the character that built Marvel like, they need to show this dude some love. So hopefully this movie is the beginning of many more movies. And hopefully the regeneration of whether it's a TV series or animated series. But give us something for God's sake. You know what I'm saying? So yo, Marvel man, get to work man. You know what I mean? So that's our show for today. But before we get up out of here. You know what I mean? I always like to talk about the stuff that we got. And I've already showed you some Blade posters, right? Because posters, something I never talk about. But posters, man, I got plenty of them. So whether you want... Card for Assassin's characters. 
You know what I mean? Card Jacks has the characters. You know what I mean? Gotta have that. Let's show you a few of them. You got the Card Jacks right there. You know what I mean? Or you want the Assassin's characters. You know what I mean? But yo, you guys gotta visit sunvision.com. You know what I'm saying? And go get you a poster. And we got them different sizes too. 11 by 17, uh, 13 by 19, 24 by 36. We even do canvas art now. Canvas art. How sick is that? Of course, come on. I'm gonna show you more stuff. Man, I got all kinds of drawings, man. I love my art. If, if there's one thing I love doing, it's art. Shoot, while, while I'm at it, I might as well put this back in here so let y'all see. Blade and Iron Man, my two favorite Marvel characters. In fact, my two favorite superheroes outside of the Carjack Assassin's universe. Check that out. Blade, yeah, see me in totality. Iron Man, you know what I mean? Let's get you some Black Panther Wolverine right there. Black Panther Wolverine. I'm going to get you some Batman and Green Lantern. I'm going to show you some ladies too. We do the ladies too. Batman right there, you know what I mean? Green Lantern. Yeah, I got skills to pay the bills. My drawing skills is off the chain. I give myself props all the time. You know, I love my war machine. I can't get around that. <laughs> I love my war machine too much. You know what I mean? Then we got ladies. We got the ladies. Let's show y'all some ladies. You know what I'm saying? We got Storm. You know what I'm saying? We got Storm. We got Wonder Woman. You know what I mean? Let's show you more ladies. Who else I got it up in here? You know what I'm saying? We got Chung Lee. Black Panther Shuri, man. That's right. Black Panther Shuri. I drew that. That's available on the website. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, we got all kinds of cool characters. Rogue and Captain Marvel. Rogue, Captain Marvel. You know what I mean? Just to name a few. We got all kinds of concepts, man. Turtles, um, Mega Man. What else I got up in here? Let me show y'all. Let me see if I can show y'all Turtles or Mega Man. I might as well. There goes that Mega Man right there. Y'all see that? You know what I mean? Let's see if we can find Turtles. It's different stuff, man. Goku versus Vegeta. Turtles, heroes in the half shell. You know what I mean? But yo, we got every, we got all kinds of superheroes, man. I'm trying to think what else. Something you might never see. Gargoyles. Yeah. That's one thing you will see too much of. Just the random stuff, man. You know what I mean? But yo, you, you can find you can find, yeah, Captain America, for those of y'all who want to know. Sam Wilson. You know what I mean? So yo, sunvision.com, y'all. You know what I mean? You can find out all kinds of cool stuff. And also too. Glasses cases, if you want to take care of your glasses, you know what I'm saying? Solid glasses cases, you know what I mean? And you can clean your own glass. It comes with its own cleaning cloth, if you're wondering. Check that out, cleaning cloth. And then, you clean your glasses. That way you can see what you're doing. And everything's looking good, you know what I mean? So, yo, glasses cases too, man, you know what I mean? But, yo, this is what we're doing at Sound Vision, man. All kinds of cool stuff. So, y'all, check that out. And, yes, I know the winter is coming to an end, but, yo, beanies. All kinds of cool beanies now. This blade one, I got to show it to y'all. Y'all got to go get one of these right here. So, you know, that's what we're doing, man. So, and before we get up out of here, man, talk about the Card Jump Assassin bio book. Why you want this? Because the first official Card Jump Assassin comic book is coming out soon. You know what I mean? So, yo, we doing big things on Sinus Vision. This book is, is going to be life-changing for me. And it's going to be a game-changer in the industry because nothing like this ever come out. I've never seen anything like this. I've spent years building these characters. And now the book is finally coming out. So get your copy of this bio book, Card of Size Bible, because the first official Card of Size Comic Book is coming to it's coming soon, man. And when it comes out, y'all know where it's gonna be at. Sunsvision.com. You know what I mean? So yo, that's what we're doing in Sunsvision, Vision, man. So y'all, I want to thank y'all for listening. You know what I'm saying? Um, before we get up out of here, I want to thank our sponsors. This Sun Vision Podcast is brought to you by A4 Capital Consulting. Growing good business anywhere and everywhere at A4 Capital Consulting. Take your business to the next level. That's A4 Capital Consulting.com for details, y'all. That's A4 CapitalConsulting.com for details, y'all. And this podcast is also brought to you by Anadel Foot and Ankle. Don't live with foot pain. Let Anadel Foot and Ankle make your feet happy again. That's AnnadelCenter.com for details, y'all. That's AnnadelCenter.com for details, y'all. So, y'all, I want to thank y'all for listening. And look, I just, just so I can showcase my Blade t-shirt, so y'all know I don't, I'm not playing, because today's episode was about Blade. I love my Blade. You can see this t-shirt is sick. It's available on SignVision.com, but you get it in short sleeves, slim fit design, or regular design. You know what I mean? So, and we got tank tops. We got sweaters. I mean, you just, just type in Blade. You'll see all kinds of cool stuff coming up. You know what I mean? So, y'all, I want to thank you for listening. This podcast is produced and written by yours truly, Adewale Goku Jr. Please check out our website for all the cool stuff I just showed y'all on SignVision.com. Whether it's beanies, glasses cases, phone cases, t-shirts, bomber jackets, hoodies, um... God, it's endless. Footwear, Sport 1s, the Batas 2 and Batas 1. 
You know what I'm saying? So we got all kinds of cool stuff on there, y'all. And please subscribe to our podcast on our YouTube channel, at Sunny's Vision. Yes, the entire podcast will be moved to YouTube because it's just a better platform. You can see and hear me at the same time. People love to see and hear. We are a visual society. You know what I'm saying? The world is very visual, so I like to stay visual. That way you can see what I'm doing. And can, there's more of an interaction when it's this way, man. So, y'all, please check out our social media platforms at Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, all at Sunny's Vision. It's part of the game. Social media, it helps you. I know it helps me. It benefits me exponentially. My YouTube channel, number one, my TikTok channel, and my Facebook. Those are the three big boys, the big three big dogs. Then, of course, you got Twitter and Instagram. You bring them along. And please don't forget to review us, rate us, give us a five star. Don't be a hater. And as always, y'all, continue to spy and achieve. Have a great week. Stay safe, y'all. Peace.